Hello everyone to my first video. I decided I wanted to do this video in sign language and English so I could share my story with the deaf community as well. Um, so I'm a former Jehovah Witness as you can tell with the title. Um, the reasoning why I wanted to share my story with the deaf community is because um, I actually learned my religion in the ASL congregation because both my parents are deaf. And just uh, really bear with me because it's kind of difficult to sign and talk at the same time. Um, but um, so, so I'm 22 years old now and um, my family got involved in the Jehovah's Witnesses when I was about 14. At first I was kind of rebellious. I didn't really want to change my lifestyle at 14. Like I wanted to go to school. I wanted to associate with everyone. But I just I decided when I was about 15 that I wanted to study. Got baptized at 16 and I really did really well in religion. Um I had demonstrations in the assemblies, um talks. Um I was doing really good. I was pioneering for a little bit. Um, and it was about when I was 18 that I decided to leave the truth. Which is honestly the best decision of my life. Um, as you former Jehovah's Witnesses, you know that Jehovah's Witnesses, they didn't allow you to make friends in school or friends at work. You couldn't associate with anything a part of the world. Which, I, like I said, I really regret I don't know how to sign regret regret um because I'm 22 and I did really good in school I know that I would be in college right now which is just terrible um there was a lot of things I saw in our congregation and like I said I'm in the ASL congregation so um I've went to a few of the English congregation like meetings and it's, it's different a little bit um with like uh how they say things and how they interpretate things. Um, it was really rough because when I was 18, I decided, well, let me back up. So I was homeschooled after the ninth grade. It was a little bit after my family started studying. And so I really didn't have any association with the world. I didn't know anything about it. I had no friends, nothing. And so when I was 18, I decided I want to get a job. So I got a job. It was my first time actually associating with people of the world. And it really just opened my eyes. They, they say the world, it, the people of the world is like a ter like terrible people. They have like no heart, like all these terrible things. And really, I've met people of this world who have a better heart than some of these Jehovah's Witnesses and it didn't make any sense to me and then the Jehovah's Witnesses community or the elders they explain that this religion is a choice you can decide you want to be in it or not but I think how is it a choice if when you're involved in this religion you can't make any friends and you can't associate with anybody of the world so if you decide to leave the truth you have nobody you're you you're alone and that's really what I felt when I left. I had no friends, I had no family, I had no support, and it was a really rough time for me. Like I know for many, many, many Jehovah's Witnesses who decide to leave, who decide to leave the truth, they don't have anybody, and it's a really a lonely feeling. So this is a, a main reason why I wanted to share my story, because I want people to know that you're not alone. It's going to take time. It's going to take time for you to be a part of this beautiful world not terrible beautiful and i think i think it's it's really important because there's a lot of deaf people in the jehovah witness community that are really really taken advantage of they are really taken advantage of and i just want i really want the deaf community to watch this and know that they're not alone if they have any feeling of doubt or anything it's okay. It's okay to do the research outside of the JehovahWitness.org because that's how I learned everything. But like now, I'm 22 years old. I'm married. 
to a worldly man and he's wonderful it takes time it takes time but it's okay don't be scared to leave the truth because you're afraid you don't have friends or family outside this the community and it just really it just takes time and i'm telling you you're gonna feel great after you leave but if you decide to leave to stay that's okay too it's really it's your decision but don't feel like you're forced to stay and you don't want to stay because that's what i felt for a long time was i was forced to stay because i knew if i left i didn't have anybody i'm sorry i really didn't plan this video i'm just really speaking speaking to the heart from the heart um I think that's really not everything I had to say, but just for this video, I think I'm gonna make it a little short. Um, go ahead and put in the comments if you think I should do um, a video in full sign language, because I promise you my signing is good. Just right now, it just looks bad because I'm talking and signing. Or I should do a video in just English because I know my English gets a little bad when I try to sign and talk. Like, oh. um, yeah, just let me know because I want to share my story. I want to let people know that they're not alone that you have the you have the choice to leave this this religion you're not stuck don't ever feel stuck i want all the ex Jehovah witnesses to just get together and just be a family so they know that other people are not going to be alone and they decide to leave and you guys help me grow that family um, I think that's it for this video. Yeah, just put in the comments what you think, your experiences, um, just many things. I have many experiences. Um, just let me know if you want me to do another video to share them. And yeah. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. And just let me know. Have a good day.